Markets are trying to shake off the holiday hangover to focus on the final weeks of trade into the end of the year. Looking at the bigger picture over the past several days, it's been a picture of renewed dollar selling, downside pressure in stocks, and mixed price action on the commodities front with gold supported into dips, but oil collapsing some 35%. There seems to be a growing sensitivity to constraints from the higher rates in the U.S. and a lag effect starting to work its way through from earlier moves in the policy normalization process. But safe haven flows to the dollar are less certain in a world where the administration is expected to keep pushing its soft dollar protectionist agenda and a world where the Fed may be forced to scale back its current rate hike timeline. Brexit is another big story out there and Theresa May will have her biggest battle on her hands in the days ahead as she tries to push her deal through a parliament that has shown plenty of resistance to the deal. Moving on, the euro has found some demand into that dip seen in the latter half of last week with optimism picking up around a resolution to the Italian budget saga. The latest chatter has Italy discussing a reduction of next year's budget deficit to as low as 2% of GDP. This would be a welcome adjustment for the EU from a draft that was targeting a deficit of 2.4% of GDP. On the data front, German IFO readings came in softer, perhaps tempered the euro run, while second-tier U.S. readings weren't going to factor into the flow of things. There will be some more central banks speak today, and then looking into Tuesday, key standouts come in the form of Kiwi Trade, UK CBI Trades, the U.S. House Price Index, U.S. Case Schiller, and U.S. Consumer Confidence. That's all for now.